right, we're back on some Fortnite. It was a big update today, although I don't think it was the shotgun adjustment. I could be wrong, though, but I don't remember seeing that in the patch notes. Instead, what we got was a delayed update. I'm not really sure what happened. Usually, Fortnite updates on Tuesdays, and it is currently Wednesday, and they didn't really say anything about them pushing back the update. It just kind of, like, was a delay. Kind of just, like, a day off for them, I guess. There wasn't really any communication there, but I don't know. I mean, to me, not that big of a deal, because, I mean, these guys communicate each and every single day, so one day off or whatever the fuck they're doing i don't give a fuck so in the new update we have the heavy sniper rifle now and this thing is disgusting i haven't even used it yet but just from seeing some gameplay or from some gameplay you're gonna see in this video it's fucking disgusting how strong this thing is it's like a gold bolt on steroids it's pretty much requeese as a gun the heavy sniper rifle absolutely obliterates walls builds things like that kind of its purpose completely open things up and just completely smash people's buildings and stuff with it a whole bunch of people always sitting around hiding and peeking and stuff like that but this heavy sniper and then there's a soaring 50s ltm which is basically an upgraded 50 v 50 it says jump in and soar with redeployable gliders and the new twist on the traditional 50 v 50 mode so i mean of course as a 50 v 50 connoisseur i will be checking this mode out and hopefully we can find the new sniper rifle in this mode as well so it basically sounds like in this mode you kind of have the freedom over your glider like you could jump off the side of a mountain and if you fall i think 10 meters you're able to completely deploy your glider so this also means that you can't be shooting people down or at least if you do shoot people down which i mean will inevitably happen you can kind of just hit space and deploy your shit and just fly away i don't know it seems pretty crazy don't really know how fights are gonna play out this way but usually there's always this threat of oh i don't want to build too high because i may fall or oh this guy is losing the build battle he's probably gonna you know drop back down and then take up the whole base of the build but instead it doesn't really matter i'm not really sure how that's going to affect the game but we're gonna find out if i don't find the heavy sniper rifle i'm just gonna follow my teammates around and shit and just see if i can find it this thing absolutely obliterates walls it's dangerously accurate and powerful and loud and i think it does over 350 damage if you shoot them in the head it's a little overkill but that's kind of the point all right, i'm gonna go over here and take this rift then probably head over to like salty or so and see where the other team is and see if anybody has the heavy Let's leave this nice view oh my goodness holy fuck look at this guy he's got it look at, look at oh my goodness the 50 cal baby holy shit that thing is powerful i cannot wait I mean, holy shit, dog! I'll never push again. Sorry! I was just trying to ramp up and like 40 people shot me. 40 people aren't even there. Like, what are you guys even doing there? You're just all jerking each other off in the divot. It's stupid as fuck. I was trying to save myself so many times that game by putting platforms down. And the angle was so awkward for me that I still ended up taking fall damage and soaring 50s. I, I didn't have time to deploy because my character was already sliding down and you just took... It's not even fall damage. It's literally slide damage on this game. It just feels completely random. Like, let me know if my character's gonna eat shit or not. So really, you don't even have to have anything. You could just kind of build up and then just jump off of it, even though you won't get much of a launch. But, I mean, yeah, you can make it further. Somebody rang my doorbell. I just came back now, and the entire enemy team is around me, and I just... I had to answer my door, and now I'm back to a 3v20? just trying to chill um this sword 50 shit is a little it's not 50 v 50 anymore <laughs> more like disgustingly over aggressive and it seems like teams are just getting crushed i can't even find the sniper rifle i'm not stopping till i find this fucking sniper rifle i went down there and someone was at my door down there for five I don't even know how long. At least a few minutes. Mike, I should have been dead as fuck is what I'm saying. I expected to come back to a pile of loot. Although I didn't really have much besides a shit ton of shield, which I never got to use. It'll be really dangerous to play this mode too often and get too used to the fact that you can pull out your glider because uh, you end up doing some shit that would usually get you killed in this mode. A lot of situations where uh, you would usually die from certain falls and things like that. <laughs> a sniper shootout so i can actually use the fucking gun i pushed forward like a group of 10 people and we all just got fucking wiped build tactically oh no that's a fucking point it said build tactically oh this is gonna be bad i can already tell this mode is gonna be all right got the 50 cal 
<laughs> reload on this thing is pretty lengthy. I think that's a trade-off, obviously. I mean, fuck it. I'll drop, uh, not retail. Never mind. I'm trying to sound really cool. I'm not. I mean, in this mode, you especially, especially can't sit still. Like, everybody has a sniper rifle. It's only sniper rifles at this point. Usually, you would have people that were abusing the scope they are and shit like that, and they're just using it as a primary. And pretty much can't do anything to help it. Probably running around in the open isn't the best idea either, but it's just gonna... I feel like the waiting on this mode is just gonna be long and painful. This may be one of the slowest paced games ever. Or at least has the potential to be because people are terrified. Especially with a new sniper rifle out. Like, I don't even feel safe right here. Like, I have to build around myself a lot. Now, here's the thing is that builds are extra effective in this mode because the only thing that's gonna actually be able to destroy these walls is, like, the heavy and maybe if somebody wants to spam the semi-auto. Other than that, it's pretty difficult to actually shoot down people's builds then. But another thing is that, can you imagine a build battle with only sniper rifles? Oh my god! The tree died! Hit him. Oh, I hit him again. <sighs> Did you know your head was sticking out? Give me the triple snipe rifle, fuck it. Like, this game is pretty much the one-by-one -one mode. One-by-ones are everywhere. It's surprising, though, because I actually already saw people trying to actually build battle each other with sniper rifle. <laughs> That guy had the heavy. All right, this is a loadout. This is what we're doing. All right, we got the heavy in our hands now. I mean, I definitely think you could build battle with the hunting rifle. It just seems difficult to try to quick scope each other in the middle of all that building shit. Such a weird, awkward encounter. Hope I don't get sniped from someone over there. I mean, no matter how much shield I have, if I'm getting shot in the head, I could have 200 shield. And if we get shot in the head with this heavy, we're still dead. That's so terrifying. I've been using the 50 cal for years in Call of Duty. And for the balance sake on Call of Duty, it's actually, uh, it doesn't hit as hard. It feels really cool to have this power kind of restored. Real 50 cal, like you're shooting people with like six inch bullets. You're shooting people with uh, you're shooting people with bullets that are bigger than some people's hands and shit. <laughs> Obviously, the trade-off for how much power this thing has is the speed. It's very, very slow, but if you hit somebody with it, they're fucking dead. 22 meters away. This guy's sitting in this corner right here. <laughs> I have to see him die. I'm not gonna sleep right. I have to see him die. I have to. We used it, got one kill. I'm just trying to shoot somebody in the head, though. I, I mean, come on now. He's trying to trap her because he can't shoot her. <laughs> Sniper rifle build battles, everybody. I <laughs> uh, this is a pretty awkward encounter, man. I'm not gonna lie. Finally hitting each other, okay. Uh, and there's a trap. And it didn't work. There's no fucking way it's taking this long. Ever since traps ended up uh, getting the one nerf, they were useless. And then when they brought them back up, something is weird about the way that it does damage now. I think he's just gonna stop fighting that guy. He's literally giving up and jumping. <laughs> Dude's going to fight somebody else. He said, fuck this shit. Destroyed. I'm just trying to get a full Barrett 50 cal inventory. How about that? Just trying to absolutely obliterate builds. Like, I mean, look at that shit. It is so clean. I mean, trading one bullet for 10 mats, you're gonna need a lot of ammo for that to really be that effective, though. That's a weird thing about it. Now, is it just destroying the walls or is it actually going through them? There were a bunch of rumors that it did pierce walls and actually do damage uh, through a wall, but I've never seen that. I'm just trying to find somebody I can shoot in the head with this thing. It's not the golden one, but this thing should do a shit ton of damage. No. You see that damage? Was that 370? The guy just sat underneath me the entire time. I mean, whatever, fuck it. Anyway, yeah, definitely go check out this new heavy sniper rifle in the new modes. This thing packs a disgusting punch. I shot somebody in the head right there for well over 300 damage. It's terrifying. Sniper shootout mode is a little, uh, little, little shaky, I'll say, and in terms of, uh, how they want it to be played out. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos will pop up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, it's been Jeff, guys. Later. <laughs>